So I can't believe I never made a video on this. Call of Duty added a brand new game mode, literally just called Slam Deathmatch. I've played it once and it is one of the most interesting game modes they probably ever added to Call of Duty. You're basically playing a WWE themed mode where the only way for you to get kills is by doing finishers that are WWE themed. You can see people through walls in this game mode too when they slam somebody, when they knock them. Okay, here we go, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, come here. <laughs> Sledgehammer, they are the kings of making really dumb and silly game modes. Oh, he's got the Tonfas, I think. Part of me kind of wishes you weren't invincible during the animations because it'd be kind of dope just to be able to save people from like getting slammed. Oh wait, okay, here we go, here we go. We see this guy right here. here. Yeah, yeah, come here, boy. <laughs> My favorite execution is definitely the smack. It's just such a fun game mode, honestly, man. I love when Call of Duty just does stupid stuff like this. I guess today's video will be checking out all the fun little weird game modes the Sledgehammer added to Modern Warfare 3 with the Season 5 update. Come here. <laughs> oh, I got the steel chair one. God, that looks so painful. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. <laughs> I love the smack so much. Here we go. He's running. He's scared. That boy is running. Yeah, he's nervous. Okay, we gotta knock another one. I love the steel chair one too. Dink! Here you go. <laughs> so this is literally the only way to get points in this game mode. And again, the, the fact you can be invincible during these executions is kind of crazy. Where's this guy at? I'm gonna get away from there. No! Wait, I might be able to get up. Okay, I can get up. I can get up. I can get up. I can get up. Okay, we're good. We're good. You get it like a little self revive too. Come here. <laughs> I'm gonna immediately 360 come for this guy. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I just hope the Treyarch uh, that's coming out this year, BO6, I hope it has like fun stuff like this. I think stupid game modes like this are generally when Call of Duty peaks, in my opinion. Wait, how did he just stop me? How did he stop? Okay, wait, maybe when you're invincible and when you have like the little brief like window of uh, invisibility, uh, same thing I literally just said. Wait, no, 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 no. Maybe when you have that like brief window of invincibility, you can stop other people from executing your teammates. <laughs> and the fact that the commentators will actually commentate while you're doing this, oh! Oh, I haven't really played Modern Warfare 3 in a couple of days. I've been mostly playing MWR because we've got the H2M mod coming for MWR. We've got BO6 coming up soon. Hey, they added arcade back. Okay, I was just checking my phone and as soon as I spawn in, I just hear explosions. Okay, so you have like, some kind of jump? Okay. I really am fiending for a jetpack Call of Duty. That guy's not happy. He just said fuck. <laughs> uh. How much health do you have? Oh my, dude, how much health do you have in this? You have like extra health? Oh, you get extra health in this, wow. Okay, this is a little different from how I remember uh, Arcade being. How many swings is that gonna go to? What is happening right now? This is chaos. In the original version of Arcade, you didn't get like extra health and stuff. Wait, does that show how much damage they're taking or their health pools? You can also see the power-ups. Ground slam, jump near enemies, demolish them. I want to get that jump power up. It looks like you can kind of see like the damage numbers or something when you damage them. So you have like 315 health, basically. It looks like you have like war zone health. Okay. Okay, so yeah, you have 300 plus health. Force field, immune to damage to a force field is broken. I really do think that Call of Duty's in their bag when they add game modes like this. I don't know if I can see the force field or not. Like, I don't think I can. I'm gonna assume that the enemy team can probably see it. That force field um didn't feel like it was existing at all. I think that guy also has like the super akimbos or something. I'm gonna assume that's what those weapons are. I saw them in the middle of the map earlier. What the fuck? Where's this guy? Nice try, man. Okay, that guy was blasting me with these. What just killed me? I don't, dude, I hate bomb drones. I hit him in Warzone. 
Something about the extra health of this is kind of nice to have to fight against. I don't know what about it is kind of nice, but it is. Good God almighty. Please. Fuck. Dude, this is so chaotic, man. What the hell? Oh, so you reload these quickly. Good Lord. Man, this just kind of makes me think back to like all the fun like wars on events and stuff we had during the original Verdansk and then we had like Verdansk 1980 or whatever, man. We had some really good game modes during that era. Also, the main reason why I'm not using my other camera is I just don't feel like complicating my video tonight. I just... Okay, so maybe you can get out of the map with this. That one guy went 10 and 33, jeez. So thinking back on the old like Warzone 1 days, like the very first year and maybe Cold War, we had the Haunting of Verdansk, which to this day, I think is probably the best Warzone event we've ever had because it was just so fresh and so new. Uh, hold on, hold on. Okay, wow, you really do take some damage with this. Haunting of Verdansk was just so much fun, man. It kind of makes me want to look back on it and like rewatch some clips or something from it. We really need something like that again in Warzone. That's fun. I mean, like Warzone 2, I, I don't, I really to this day don't understand what the direction with the Warzone 2 is supposed to be. They took all the momentum of Warzone 1 and just kind of chucked out the window. Like Caldera was kind of a mid map, but I don't think it was the worst as a lot of people kind of like made it out to be. I still think Modern Warzone and its current iterations of maps are still to some degree worse than Caldera. Caldera's only worst element was the fact that it was a World War II style map. Nobody wanted to look at World War II anymore. That's okay, whatever. They just took all the momentum out of the sales of Call of Duty with Warzone 2 by just completely changing the way it played. And they thought people wanted to play like this weird DMZ Warzone hybrid. Like some people enjoyed it, sure. But I just, I, I don't understand the mindset behind wanting to change it to that. I mean, like, spectating in Warzone 1 was so much more fun. The gameplay in Warzone 1 was so much more fun. Maybe it's just nostalgia. It could just be me looking back on it with rose tinted glasses. I remember all the crazy cheaters we had in, in, back in the day, too. I'm not going to lie, though. That first year of Warzone cheaters was absolutely insane over dance. Like, I don't miss it. But sometimes I kind of miss the laughs that it brought. Like, you're just playing with your homies. You know what? I think that's what it was. I was playing with my homies all day, every day. I had made a lot of new friends. I just started taking the streaming seriously. So those old Warzone 1 days were just fun, man. I really do miss it. Sometimes I miss lockdown gaming. Like, it was a terrible time for people like me who actually enjoy socializing in public. But boy, do I miss the long nights with just the homies. No real cares in the world. It kind of felt like being a teenager again. To be honest, I completely missed out on that first era of Call of Duty being a teenager just playing Black Ops 1 or MW2 all night every night i missed that on that era so when we had that first year of warzone and it was locked down and i just had so many friends online constantly playing warzone that was some of the most fulfilling joy i've ever had in my life man i miss it i really do i'm happy that i am married now that i've got a nice career that i've got a nice paying job and stuff too don't get me wrong but i really do miss those og like days on warzone i miss og call of duty i miss those og days on warzone i miss the mw uh, not mw2 i miss the mw19 era of warzone where it was only just those guns like the cold war guns weren't terrible like they were horrendously overpowered in comparison to the uh mw19 guns because that's usually how those cycles kind of go i missed that very first year of war zone nobody knew how to slide cancel everybody was just mostly focused on the win nobody really thought about getting high kill games like it was just an easier era i still to this day rewatch phase jobs spectating warzone series periodically like i like not even periodically i've been having that shit on replay for days now while i'm editing videos Okay, chill, bro. I've got a full playlist that I found on YouTube of all of Jeb's spectating Warzone videos, and I've just been watching them every single day for like over a week straight, man. Like it's some of my favorite content out there when it comes to Warzone content. Not the high kill games, just spectating people and looking at the dumb shit that they do. Jeb was the reason I got inspired to do like spectating content. Obviously that concept is not original. I definitely didn't make it up. I completely got the idea from Phase Jeb because I love the aspect of seeing other people play the game, how they played it, how they wanted to play it. And I didn't have to be the one playing it. Cause playing Warzone is stressful. I miss the old trash talk too. People really don't talk in Call of Duty anymore. And I think that's because they introduced this weird, like, censorship thing with COD now. What's this? No.
I'm a jetpack veteran. I played so much jetpack cod way back in the heyday. Like this little bit of movement right here, I just feel like I'm at home again, honestly. That guy got destroyed. I feel like I'm at home, man. I really want another jetpack Call of Duty. In the same sense that I want another Warzone 1, that I want another, like, OG Call of Duty experience again, I really miss Jetpack God so much. I didn't really mean to turn this video into like a nostalgia trip, but it's just so hard not to think about the old days of like gaming and stuff. I know Warzone really wasn't that long ago. That first Warzone dropped four years ago. Like let that sink in. That was four years ago when Warzone 1 dropped. I miss it. I generally do. How that guy did not kill me. Honestly, would you guys like to see a reaction to old Warzone 1 content? Like, I'm thinking about looking up some old compilations and stuff, some old, like, Haunting of Her Dance clips or something from way back in the heyday. Like, not even my own. I just want to watch some old Warzone 1 content again, man. I'm trying to call on this kill streak, but the airspace is too crowded, apparently. I'm 100% playing like a rat right now. I already know that. What the fuck? Oh, that's how you summon the barrier. Interesting. I just noticed there's a little icon in the lower right hand corner showing that I have like barrier usage. Only thing is this makes me a literal sitting duck or like an easy target. Where is little anybody? I don't want to call the streak in yet. Again, the one thing about this game mode is there's literally like no skill based matchmaking, I'm convinced. Like these are where some I find some of the easiest lobbies ever. The fact that we have like an invincibility barrier now is kind of crazy to be honest. Hey, maybe we can do the new code on. Let's lock in for a second. We can re we can recharge it. I think we can just clear the screen anyway. Dude, I cannot see. Okay. Ooh. Can I put another one up? I'm just gonna run. <gasps> oh my God. Wait a minute. We got another advance. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We are so close to dropping a nuke right now. Oh my goodness, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Our heart is racing. Oh my god, we just dropped a nuke! <gasps> and I recorded it for once! Oh my god, I just dropped a nuke. I just dropped a nuke, I just dropped a nuke, I just dropped a nuke, I just dropped a nuke. <laughs> Dude. So like I said, this is why I like playing arcade. I just dropped a nuke. I just dropped a nuke. <laughs> Man, I put y'all on the TikTok, bro. You're
Bro, I dropped the nuke, not you. What are you talking about? All right, well, that is a fantastic video right there. We just dropped a nuke in this game mode. Let's go. That is like my fifth nuke dropping it in arcade. I just locked in for a second. I didn't want to lose. I didn't want to die. I'm like, no, we're dropping this nuke right now. I, the one reason why I don't like playing games like Elden Ring anymore is because of the stress that it gives my body. The amount of stress that I felt that entire time, times that I almost died on those couple of different occasions, I felt it through my whole body the whole time. So with that out of the way, thanks for watching today's video, guys. We dropped the new completely unintentional. I kind of like arcade for this exact reason, man. The games are just so much more chill. Uh, obviously, somebody's always going to say, well, it's a bot lobby, whatever. I mean, what am I supposed to do about it, man? I just wanted to play the game mode. I wasn't trying to drop a new, but I took the opportunity and ran with it. So thanks for watching today's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel for gaming content, guys. And as always, this has been Jay. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Peace.